Hello and welcome to Afghan Moussa, vlog number 16 of the Doctor Who Pinball Restoration. We are attacking the final stretch, finally. The mini play field is done. Most of the under of the play field is done. As I said, there's only this part that need to be attached, but I can do it because of this rail. But otherwise, the flipper have been installed. They're not fully tightened yet. I will did do it uh, when I will be uh, left with the alignment of them. And um, I just learned something. You know the history about uh, the little nylon shaft that were not included. I clean one, use it. But realize that the, this bushing had about maybe one or two millimeters, maybe only one millimeter is too high. Uh, maybe it was from an old uh, game that it was using just a bit of a taller sh shaft. So the this flipper, when installed, was extremely sticky. It was not moving freely because this assembly was too high compared to the whole of this bracket. So the movement was not at ease. Now, I actually had another one with the exact correct size, clean it, great shape, install it and great flipper action coming on. Yeah, so I'm gonna untighten this. Flip it around and it's the time for revelation. Look at that. Okay. Tighten it. So here we are, a beautiful NOS play field with a lot of stuff poking out already, as such as the bulb, the targets, flipper, the slingshot. And we are about to transfer all of this into the play field. I will first clean it like this part has already been clean and shine and ready to be installed, as well as this one. I need to mention that I have never encountered a game that requires so many stickers. It's a very impressive how many stickers are used in that game. Each ramp, like this ramp, has one, two, three, four stickers to be applied on it. And this one, one, two, three, four, five, six stickers for the big one. And they need to be applied on the new NOS or Repro. Mm. I, I'm not sure you know, which one of those two are. But anyway, they are brand new, perfect condition. I'm just having them on my sh bench right now to show it to you. I will put them aside until I have to install them. But actually, there's not that many parts here that will go to the play field, such as the ramps, uh, the bu pub bumper caps are being changed, their new... Uh, purple post that are used these are the lead there's not that much mud that will be included in this game but mostly upgrade of the actual parts so without further ado let's do some time lapse Things are coming along pretty well on the play field. Really love the look of it. I'm about to do some prep job. I will stop doing um, assembling the play field for now on this vlog. I will start doing some prep work because this ramp actually needs a lot of it in order to have the new one ready to, for installation. 
Not only do I have to put a lot of stickers, but there is also a lot of, li of little rivets like this one, okay? Uh, I show you earlier that I have some screws that, do's, that does the job pretty well. But there is some rivets on the side here of the metal bracket. And there is, uh, no, the, 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 the metal flap is okay. But I have also some rivets on the metal brackets that holds the hop toe. So I will not be putting um, straight on screws on that. I just want to find out where they are. So I put the screws on the NOS ramp. And if you take a look at it, the ball can hit it. It's not suitable, so I will have to find a way to turn these little screws into rivets. Because I do not love the look of pop rivets, and I don't even have the tools for it either. I don't have rivets, I will not do punching rivets anyway on a such a fragile piece of plastic, so let's see what can be done with the top of this screw. By using some nuts on the screw, I put them on the screw and had enough material to hold on to it with a pair of pliers. And I use a metal file to actually grind as much stuff, as much material on the top. And if we compare it to a regular one, I think it's pretty close to be some kind of a rivet. What you think? The top of the screw is a bit too rough for me, so I'm gonna try sand it down with some sandpaper with different grit, hoping to make it a nice a nice shine. I'm quite satisfied with how my little job turned out. It really looks like a rivet with a very small Phillips design on it. If I put it on its hole and try to hit it with the ball, it's impossible. It moves freely. So yeah, uh, it seems like it's actually hitting only the hole for the hot toe here. But when it comes to the screw, there's actually no friction at all. So let's do this for two more screws and we'll be able to do the prep work after that. Isn't it sweet? So, well, that is some pretty pristine looking ramp. Cool, isn't it? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna put it on the playfield yet because that's no use for now. And on the next vlog, I will be prepping the last part of the playfield before finishing the installation. So, I will. Uh, be removing a, a lot of sticker. I think I will be doing this off camera because actually it's just gonna be boring of removal of sticker and apply new one hopefully in uh, <laughs> more accurately and In the vlog 17 we'll be completing the installation of the play field. So stay tuned Like share and subscribe if it's all aren't already done Comments also. I love having comments from you. So stay tuned and see you soon. Bye.